Hi guys, okay we are back uh, for our next uh, installment of our videos. So this one's going to be up on packaging and I've talked about this a couple times that we needed to kind of do an update on our uh, number 12, number 13, number 14 uh, in our video series. You can go back and watch those because much of that is still applicable. It's still the way I do it today. But there's a couple of uh, little things that I didn't talk about on those videos that I need to make real clear. So we're going to do uh, several different things. This is going to be an update to number 12, 13, and 14. So def definitely go back and watch those as far as packaging goes. First things first. We want to make this really, really clear. These are, uh, I don't know if you, if you can see these, Dad, if you can see these on the table. These are the priority mailboxes. This is how we ship most of our small signs. Now, I've got these separated for a reason. These over here are non-flat rate boxes. That's these ones on my right. The ones on the left are flat rate boxes. What I mean by that is... And I don't know, Dad, whether you can zoom in on this. But right over here, it says real clearly, small flat rate box. So if we're talking a, a flat rate box, guys, again, Priority Mail, USPS, has two different kinds of boxes. Flat rate boxes and non-flat rate boxes. Now, back on 12, 13, and 14, you saw me putting boxes together. You cannot put flat rate boxes together. You can't do it. They won't allow it. They'll kick it back to you. You just, they won't allow you to do that because you're paying for a flat rate. No matter, you could put up to 70 pounds. See how I caught that? You can put up to 70 pounds in a flat rate box and it goes for the same rate. Not the case when you're shipping non flat rate. Then you're paying by the weight. Of however much this weighs, whether it's five pounds, ten pounds, or twenty pounds, and where it goes, and where it goes, yes, location. Now we're talking uh, right now primarily all United States stuff. Uh, when you're shipping overseas, it, you'll have a kind of a different deal. You can still use these boxes, but right now primarily we're talking within the United States. So I hope we got that really clear because I know there's been quite a bit of confusion on that. So what you want to do is I don't normally ship flat rate boxes for my most of my signs. Some of them, yes. As a matter of fact, Dad's going to actually come on after I'm done here and show you a flat rate box that he's, that he's going to ship in. So on the flat rate, there's a small flat rate box. There's a small flat rate envelope. There's a regular flat rate envelope. There's a padded flat rate envelope. All these go at a little bit different. Well, actually, the small flat rate envelope and this both ship for, what is it, 505, Dan? 505. 505 is what these ship five for. $5.05. Cur currently. Currently. <laughs> you know, yeah, I could, now, I could change any time. Yeah. So uh, this is a medium flat rate box, and it's uh, one of those sleeves. That's a medium flat rate box. That goes for $11.30, uh, $11 I believe. Anywhere in the yeah. U.S., yeah. No matter Anywhere in the weighs. U.S. or U.S. territory. Uh, here's a bigger version. This is a large flat rate box. It's what they call the game board box. So again, and if you large can, flat rate box is like fifteen dollars and eighty cents any place in the U.S. Right. So you know it would depend on on your on your sign. For me, normally um, because my signs don't weigh that much, the smaller ones. Normally, I'll ship with the non-flat rate boxes, and that allows me to put them together again. Make real. I want to make this super clear. You can't put these together the way I put boxes together on 12, 13, and 14, and the way I'm going to do on this video at the end. Um, so, uh, gosh, what am I forgetting, Dad? I know there's something I'm forgetting here. Um, these are. This is a, a again a, a triangle box. You saw me use one of these on the earlier videos, the 12, 13, 14. This is a bigger version of that. You want to be careful with these because you can see it says Priority Mail Express, and then on the other side it's just Priority Mail. Priority Mail Express is like next day, second day, something like that. It costs a lot more. So when you fold these boxes, if you're just going to ship them regular priority mail, which they say is two to three days anywhere in the country, you want to have the red out. That's the just the standard priority mail. So then we have 
a lot of different versions of the regular priority mail boxes. That's the shoe box, I think. Yeah, that's the shoe box. And then uh, three different versions of the sleeves. And again, I'll be showing these again later after Dad gets done with his segment. So um, these are the ones I normally use in most cases unless it's something really special because it allows me to put uh, boxes together for a bigger sign. If that's and even I mean. though those are triangle, they're called tubes. Yeah, they call them uh, small mailing tube right there. Uh, and the bigger one. Uh, anyway, so... Um, I think that's about it for this particular segment. Um, next, Dad's going to come on and, and talk about the Priority Mail click and ship so you can actually get set up, never have to go to the post office and get it all done right, uh, right on your computer, print labels and all that. So Dad's going to come back on and talk about click and ship. Uh, One more little thing. Yes. How much do all these cartons cost? If you... <laughs> And see, I knew I was forgetting something. That's why you're back there. Um, these are all furnished by the post office. So you can go online or you can get them at the post office. But we generally go online on USPS.com and we just tell them what size boxes we need and they send us a bunch of them or, or whatever. So these are all no cost. They're included in your shipping cost when you ship click and ship. So I'm glad you brought that up, Dad. Well, it's very important because if you buy oh, yeah. boxes, uh, then your shipping rate goes up. If you if the post office furnishes these boxes for for your use, uh, it just saves you a ton of money in the long oh, run. Oh yeah. yeah, and they'll ship them directly to you, so you don't even have to go get them if you don't want them. They'll yeah. they'll send them to you. If you went to pack to uh, price this at a box from a box company. Or you know, or or somewhere that sells boxes like this, you'd probably pay a buck and a half to two bucks for it. I would. Or think. more. Or more. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, that, that's why that's one of the biggest reasons that priority mail, this click and ship process, works really well. And and especially if you're in a rural area, we're out in the middle of the desert. I mean, it doesn't look like it. It's green behind me, but we're out in the middle of the <laughs> desert. So for us to have the the our post lady take our packages for us saves us a tremendous amount of labor. Yeah, and, that, and that's money. a good point. We don't take these to the post office. No, no, our our regular mail carrier takes them for us. She she gets a bonus at Christmas time uh, at the end of the year because she t she takes a lot of packages for us. So anyway, all right. So Dad's will be on uh, next. Talk you about talk you through the click and ship and show you how to get that set up. Okay. Uh, as my super son said, I'm going to show you a little bit about how we ship on click and ship, uh, how it's done, what the process is all about. I'm even going to package a sign here to show you uh, what we do with small signs that, that can be shipped this way. Most of our signs are bigger signs and they're shipped in boxes. This particular one is going to go in an envelope. So a click and ship label is a label in order to use this yourself, in order to print your own labels and pay for them yourself and ship through your regular mail pickup, you need to have these click and ship labels. You don't ha absolutely have to have them. You can print this on plain paper and cut them and then paste everything up. But these click and ship labels are really the way to go. I buy these a thousand at a time. I won't tell you where I buy them on camera but if you'll send me an email, I'll give you my source. Or you can just go on Google and do a search for click and ship. That's click and with the N, ship. Click and ship labels. And you'll see a hundred places to buy the click and ship labels. They're, uh, they're not very expensive and they're well worth it. But you will need a computer and you will need a printer. Uh, you can't print these out without having without going on the USPS website and putting in your your information so you'll need an account you will need to go on the website and establish an account with a password you'll need to have a credit card on there that they can charge this to uh, and then you'll have to have the the labels if if you want a, a blank label that you can peel and stick and I'll show you how to do that in a minute so that's, this is click and ship, and this is everything that we ship, just 99% of what we ship, we ship click and ship, and that way our, our postal lady 
picks up our mail, we don't have to go to the post office now. Having said that, you can do the same thing by making the, the cartons and just use a regular label and take it to the post office and stand in line and let them do it for you, pay for it there, but it costs you more. If you do it online, you save around 10 or 15 percent, something like that. Uh, it's a lot more convenient. So what I'm going to do is I'll show you, this is, a, this is a priority mail envelope, and it's a flat rate. No matter where this goes, any, any address in the U.S. or the U.S. possessions, it costs $5.05. .05. If you're to put the same sign in a box as a one-pound package, anything less than one pound goes as one pound, then it might cost $5.60 or $6.20. This is always a flat rate. So. Having said that, let me show you what I do here. I take this sign, I put it in an envelope, which you probably already know where we get these. If you don't, you should. Uh, we give you a source for these online several places. Can and you show that sign a little bit, Dad? Just just the so they, sure. yeah, because from this angle they might not, okay, yeah, perfect, perfect. Now it, they, it, now it, they. This is a small sign. Most of our signs won't fit in this flat rate envelope. This particular one is small enough that it will, and so it's an easy way to ship it. And then I take another carton, and I sacrifice another carton, and I make just sort of a little sleeve for it to fit in. Then I just throw a rubber band around it, if I, if I don't drop it. <laughs> I throw a rubber band around Good it. Good catch. Just to kind of hold it. That's all there is to it. Then I take the packing list that the customer gets, showing what they're getting. I put it all in this, in this envelope. All you got to do is peel that off, fold it up, and it's sealed up. Now on, on occasion, because if this sticks up too much on the edges, I'll take a label Oh, there's my labels. Thank you, son. You're welcome. I'll take a label, and I'll just cover this up just a little bit. Now, this has a pull tab on it for pulling the package open, so I don't cover that. But occasionally, if the envelope is fat like this one is, and this sticks up a little bit, I just put this on there just to give it a little bit of extra protection. Then what what the, labels are those? What? What's those labels you're using there? Those are our standard priority mail labels that you can order from the post office. They don't cost you anything. Let me zoom in on that. What'd you say? They don't cost anything? They don't cost anything. You just order them by the roll. Okay. That's good to know. All right. Okay. Carry on. All right. <laughs> and then this click and ship label, you got two of them. One of them is your receipt. Now this is my file copy. This is what I'll put in my file to show what the order was and that it was shipped and this is adhesive on it and I just I keep this as my record of what happened this one peels off like that goes right on the envelope I'll show you this Okay. Now this is the envelope that's done and ready to go. That's all there is to it. We we put this in the in the mailbox when our regular mail goes out, regardless of how many packages we've got. We've got a big brown box that we put our packages in. And that's that's how we use click and ship. And we highly recommend using click and ship. You'll need to, you need to have a computer, like I said, and you'll need to have your account at, at the USPS. Otherwise, you can still use click and ship cartons and, and envelopes and packages, but you'll have to take them to the post office to, uh, in order to mail them. Stand in line, and it costs you a little bit more to do it that way. But that's, uh, that's what I wanted to show you, what the click and ship was all about. Give me an email. Send me an email if you want to know where I get the labels. Otherwise, Go on Google and do a search for them, and you'll find a hundred places to buy them. And that's it for now. Okay. Okay, so we're back, 
Dad did a great job explaining what Click and Ship is and, and how to get set up for Click and Ship. It, uh, it's vital for us. It works out really, really well. So now I'm going to go ahead and package a sign. And, and this, a lot of this is going to be repetitious to what I've done on 12, 13, and 14. But it's a little bit different. I do things a little bit different. That's videos 12, 13, yeah. and 14. Yeah, like I had mentioned before. So, um... Uh, things are I do things a little bit different than I did back then that's been several years ago uh, I used a lot of foam wrapping back then and I used uh, the the peanuts the styrofoam peanuts don't really use peanuts anymore they're still kind of pricey we found an alternative that works out really really well so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna put these boxes together so again these are non flat rate boxes so I've got one that I put together and I sealed up the back end this one what I'm gonna do is I don't really want to seal it yet because I'm gonna open that end back up so I'm gonna just use one of these labels and these again are those labels that dad just showed on the on the last segment and I'm going to peel that off there eventually so I'm just going to seal it like that for now now so we need to put these two pieces together now these aren't they don't have uh, they're not tapered at the end so here's what I'm going to do uh, last time I was using scissors and you can still do it that way if you'd like to but honestly I just use a razor knife now, and um, it works out really well. Now I'll hold that up so I can get a close-up of it so they can see what you're doing. All I'm doing is I'm just cutting a triangle out of the out of the corner like that with the with the razor knife. So when you've got a real sharp razor knife, it just slices no problem at all. Okay. You good there, Dan? Good. Okay. So now. We're going to put these together. Again, this is kind of repetitious on, on what I've done before, what I've showed you guys before, but just as kind of a, just kind of a refer. So I'm going to put these together here. Now I'm going to go all the way, all the way around it. Now I'm going to... Could you go a little faster? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to actually go around it again on both sides. I was absolutely sure this thing doesn't come apart. So... Okay, so there's that. Now, I'll just open this end back up. And we have our box ready to go. Now I'm going to set this aside. And I'm going to go ahead and wrap this sign. This is just a, a, a sample of, of how I go about it, guys. So um, now, rather than just wrapping this in the bubble wrap like you're going to see, I always put it in a clear tube first. Now the reason I do that is because... There has been a time or two where I didn't do that and I just wrapped it with bubble wrap. And if you're finished, this has only got a couple coats on it, maybe even one or two, just an old sample that I have. But if you've got a really nice finish on a sign and it's not completely cured and, and hard and you put that bubble wrap around it, you're going to end up with that stuff sticking to the surface of your sign and it makes a bunch of little circles all over your finish. So I always put it now, I always wrap everything in, uh, in the tubes first. So I'm not putting any, any uh, hooks or anything in this tube right now because I'm just showing you a sample. I would put all my paperwork and then I... Uh, I, I include hooks with all my signs too. So now I'm going to get my, my bubble wrap. And this stuff is comes in rolls and it's fairly inexpensive. On those last videos, I said this stuff was more expensive than the foam, but not anymore. We actually get a really good price on this stuff, but you can get it just about anywhere. So here's what I'm going to do here. You with me, Dad? Yeah, I'm with you. Okay. So I, because my sign here is about two foot long, something like that, I ripped off three sections. So this is three foot long, and 
I really need to make sure that I'm protecting those corners, especially on a sign that's got, you know, uh, delicate corners. If it was just a 6x24, I would still do this if it was just square edge. But on these, they're really critical that you protect those corners. All right, so there's, there's my sign pretty much wrapped up. Now, here's the, the other variance of the way I, uh, what I use for packaging here. So you can see the box is, is, ends up being about two or three inches longer on both ends, and then there's plenty of room for that to fit in. But what I'm going to do is now, rather than those foam peanuts, we use just packing paper. I, I guess that's what this is called, right, Dad? Packing yeah, paper? Yeah, it's newsprint packaging paper. Yeah, so we just buy it on Amazon. I think Dad orders it on Amazon. And uh, it's a lot cheaper than the, than the pellets. So what I'm going to do here, shove that down in there. I think I can fit another one down in there. Grab some more paper here. There we go. That's a nice tight fit. Now what I'll do is I'll take this lengthwise like this, so I make a long one, and I'll go all the way around that thing. So I know it's not rattling around inside that box. Then I would put another piece of paper in there. I'm not going to do that now. Seal it up. Then I always shake it, make sure that I can't hear it rattling around in there. And I know it's got good protection around it. So that's pretty much from that point. Then I just weigh it. And this probably will weigh a pound and a half, maybe two pounds. But I don't think it'll go two pounds. Uh, which means it'll ship probably anywhere in the e I'm out in Arizona. It'll probably ship even to the East Coast for, I don't know, probably six, six eighty. May yeah, maybe seven bucks. May you know, I don't think it'll be more than that. And uh, and you've charged the customer. I charge seven fifty flat, seven fifty for for a sign this size. Actually, excuse me, that's not correct. I charge uh, fifteen dollars for shipping this this size sign anywhere in the country. And then for the larger ones, um, uh, I charge uh, 20. So uh, like for instance, if I've got a 12 by 24 and I actually I, I brought out a board, this, uh, this is just a, I, I don't have an actual sign. So this one really wouldn't fit in here in these. These are, uh, what are these 1097s? Is that the number yeah, of the Yeah, that's the number yeah. of the boxes of 1097. Yeah, what a 1095, is it's a little bit bigger. And that's a bigger version of these 1097 sleeves is the 1095. And I would put two of those together in order to ship a 12 by 24 board. But uh, the process is all the same. It so, would cost a little bit more. Oh yeah, but yeah, the, but I've charged $20 for right. shipping on a, on a sign this size. So that's, and again, printing the labels, everything, just like what dad talked about. You go on, enter your information, print the label out, stick it. On the box and and your mail carrier will take it so um, I don't think that there's uh, anything specific that I'm doing I, I just wanted to guys show you kind of the updated version and you guys always want to check our updates because we may be updating as we go along you know we've been making videos for years uh, very very often we have updates to earlier uh, earlier videos so you've got the, the brand new cover, we, we discover something new or something new comes out that we think is applicable so we update a video right exactly so in this particular instance the biggest thing was the um, uh, not necessarily the way I put the boxes together but the packing material so we're using pretty much bubble wrap now and uh, and the packing paper which is a lot cheaper than those the styrofoam foam pellets. Those are pretty expensive as compared to the packing paper. Um, I guess that's really the, the main uh, things I wanted to focus on, Dad. Anything you can think of I'm forgetting? No, just uh, tell them to uh, subscribe to our channel. Or I could just let you do it 
like you just did. Yeah, you could subscribe to our channel. It's behind behind my son's head there. There they are. Yeah. <laughs> there yeah. it is, Old Abe 100. Yeah. Uh, so if you subscribe, then you're automatically sent uh, a notice when we post a new video. Right. So you you could go on and watch our new updates or, or new videos, new information, whatever. And we'll have another one next week. So we're we're staying on track of getting them done every week. So um, stay tuned and oh yeah, makeawoodsign.com. That's our new our new website. Go check that out. There's a lot of cool stuff on there, blog posts and different things. So thanks for watching guys. We'll see you on the next one.